Okay, we're going to getting a look at what could be the future of smartphones with two brand new foldable phones. Samsung unveiled its highly anticipated Galaxy Z Flip yesterday. The phone's bendable glass screen is the first of its kind. This comes a week after Motorola released its new Razer. The Razer is an updated version of the flip phone that was a huge success more than 15 years ago. Some of us remember those. Yeah. Dan Ackerman, senior managing editor with our partners at CNET, is he here with a first <laughs> look at the new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, flip before it hits stores this Friday. Good morning, Dan. Hey, guys. And you're going to give me that at the end of the uh, That's right. Yeah, got some fun Can we just start off by saying this is so cool? Dan. Yeah, it's really give, give us a little demonstration. It's really here. interesting. Now, it looks like a regular phone when you hold it up. Yeah. But then you go like this and look at that. The screen bends, and unlike some of the earlier flexible phones, and there have been a couple, uh, the screen is actually made of a type of flexible glass, not plastic. Yeah. And that could potentially make it more durable. And it closes completely. It closes completely, and then you have something that fits in a human-sized pocket, which is something that people complain about a lot of the big screen phones. And it, it takes pictures. Gigantic. It well, takes pictures. pictures. Of course, it, it takes pictures. Now, when Even you, when it's closed. When it's closed. This is kind of fun. There's a tiny little display down here. Uh -huh. So if I hit this button twice, I get a little tiny tiny ah, camera lens right, if I can get you, you guys right there but you got to turn it over that and way then if the I camera, and then yeah. if I open it up uh -huh. and we go into the camera right that's oh look at that that's pretty good <laughs> there, right that. The <laughs> and you, and you, you can even that's a fabulous picture of me by the way I know it is <laughs> like what's uh, it's sight on scene I, mean, I think that was I think it's pretty good yeah, right. all things considered it also even when it's closed you can see the time right and then, you can see the time you can see some notifications it's yeah. not a full screen on the front but it, right. it's a little something and then if you have the camera open it knows in some apps that you have it folded uh -huh. and look it moves the, the wow. viewfinder at the top and uh -huh. puts the controls at the bottom it's almost like a little mini laptop like that. So, so there's a lot right of buzz. Your pocket. It's right it in, your fits pocket. in your pocket. I love, that. I love it. Uh, as too. opposed to Which some prevents of these gigantic some might phones. Notes. It prevents some might note butt dialing. It right? prevents butt dialing and it keeps the screen frankly safe. I'm paranoid about phone screens. When yeah. I see a naked phone with a big screen out, I just get yeah. anxiety. Why is it so expensive? It's fourteen hundred dollars. It is, but that's not considered expensive for a premium phone it's anymore. Okay. This is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Their other new, big new phone they announced yesterday, and this is thirteen ninety nine. Right. And if you get a tricked out iPhone, it can be closer to fourteen or fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It used to be nine ninety nine was the most expensive phone, mm -hmm. and now that's like the entry price for a premium. So phone. you think this is going to take off, I mean, Dan? Because as you noted, there have been earlier versions of this that kind of bombed. Did not I work, think we yeah. had to get through a couple of generations of the technology first to get something that worked better. And you see, there's moving parts in this, and the hinge and everything. Uh -huh. And the nice thing about regular phones is there's almost no moving parts in them, so it's hard for them to break down unless you drop it and crack the screen. So long-term durability, I think we're going to have to get something like this into a lot of people's hands to really test it and, that's and see how they can mess Mo it up. Motorola's Razer also has Razor. a bendable screen? Uh, this is actually the, the Samsung S20 Ultra, which is their other big regular phone. Okay. But the Razer has a bendable screen. It's made of plastic, though, and it's a bit more of a retro play. It looks like the old Razer that everybody right. used to have, the flip phone. Uh, there it is, yeah. Get a picture of it there. So why do you think bendable phones are, are back? Is it psychologically people just don't want to be looking at their phones anymore? They want the experience of shutting it and putting it away? There's a small niche group of people who really like flip phones, bendable screens or not, because they get rid of a lot of the distractions because you can't put a lot of you know apps on the, the retro style ones. These are just regular Android phones that mimic that mechanism. But I think that people are just burned out on these big slab phones. They all look the same, feel the same, big thing of glass and metal. Mm -hmm. If you want someone to buy a new phone every year or two years, you got to give them something new and interesting, and at least this is new and interesting. Do you, you think what, iPhone wanna... will do this? You know, give them Apple a couple of years. They like to let a technology, whether it's 5G or big screens or facial recognition, mature first before they get into it, and then everyone goes, oh, I can't believe it's on an iPhone now, yeah. when everyone else says, but we've been doing this for two years. But no, you, Apple cool. is working on this technology. I, you know, they have some patents for flexible screens, and I would not be surprised if at some point you see that. If you want to hang up on somebody, it does feel pretty good to actually yes. close it. <laughs> there is a oh, satisfaction So that. right. Yes. yes. Goodbye. That is so true. <laughs> and, and fewer butt dials is also really important. We had a oh. couple of awkward moments with that. That's just not good. <laughs> that's not good. Thank you, Dan Ackerman. That's Thank another you. segment. Yeah, that's a whole other segment. <laughs>